Okay. Thanks for listening. Uh, okay. uh, delegates and representatives, thank you so much for allowing me to speak today. My name is Brad Kuttner. I'm the editor of Gay RBA, uh, an LGBTQ news and arts publication based here in Richmond, Virginia. Taking off my journalist hat to speak with you as a lifelong Virginia citizen and an openly gay man. My job puts me in a unique position to have exhaustive research about the issues this bill is dealing with, and I thought it was time I spoke up and said something. On February 12, 2013, almost three years ago to the day, I sat in a similar committee hearing where SB 701, a bill which passed the Senate, aimed to provide protections for LGBTQ state employees. Who, excuse me. There has not been a single example of someone who has been discriminated against in public appointment, other than the abstract fears we're here test we've heard testified against today. This was said by Delegate Todd Gilbert, author of the bill that you're hearing to vote on today. Uh, he was the only committee member to speak out against SB 701. Uh, Chris Frun of the Family Foundation echoed concern, uh, Gilbert's concerns, saying, we usually pass laws when problems need to be solved. There hasn't been a problem with discrimination in Virginia. So I'm here to ask you today if I could address the delegate again and I'd ask him, where is the problem? I asked Delegate Gilbert if he had any examples of discrimination against religious people here in Virginia the other day, and he failed to provide me anything uh, but rather than uh, abstract fears. Uh, while I'm here today to give you some examples on the other side, LGBTQ folks who have been targeted because of who they love. John Murphy, 64, moved to Richmond to work at a local adult care facility, St. Francis Home. Uh, he was fired two days after getting hired because he was in a same-sex relationship. His duties had nothing to do with face-based services and everything to do with administrative work for caring for sick people. The board members at St. Francis were so disgusted by their church's need to fire Murphy, they refused to take action, and clergy from the archdiocese themselves had to go to Murphy's house to tell him he was fired because he was married to a man. Murphy is currently pursuing legal action through the EEOC and hopes to find justice there because there is no law protecting him uh, in the state. Uh, C.T., a Chesterfield resident who is in his 20s, uh, and has to remain nameless because he continues to fear for his safety, was brutally beaten last May because he was gay. The man who hit him, a fellow Amazon shipping employee, said, I hit him because he was gay. He said the Chester, uh, he told this to the Chesterfield police, who then sought federal hate crime, uh, crime charges because Virginia does not include sexual orientation in their list of hate crime protections. It took eight months for federal charges to be brought against the attacker. Eight months with the, atta the attacker on the street and the victim fearing for his safety. A 2015 study of housing discrimination against same-sex couples in Virginia uh, aimed to find out that there was discrimination in housing here in the Commonwealth. They sent out emails to be, uh, pretending to be a straight couple and another set pretending to be a same-sex couple. Sure enough, they found 45% of female couples experienced negative responses and 50% of male couples experienced negative responses. Finally, Gavin Graham, a transgender 16-year-old boy, uh, was using the boys' restroom just fine until concerned parents stepped in, and now the kid has to use a converted broom closet when he pees. Uh, some of you met Andrew Wilson the other day. He's been lucky to have a supportive uh, educators and administration, and they, he continues to use the male facility without issue. These are not abstract concepts that Delegate Gilbert was talking about three years ago. And I hope he realizes that these are the stories that can be told because the people involved were fortunate enough to be out and open about themselves. There are many more cases, kids flipping burgers, adults cleaning bowling shoes who have to lie about their significant others, who face discrimination but are too afraid to lose their jobs or their homes to speak up. But beyond Virginia's LGBTQ population, the rest of Virginia doesn't agree with this law. A Christopher Newport study released today said 57% of the Commonwealth opposes this kind of legislation. Meanwhile, after Indiana tried to pass a similar law last year, uh, the state's tourism commission estimated that Hoosier State lost more than $60 million in funding, uh, in convention funding, because of their religious freedom bill. $60 million in Indiana, which has no beaches, no Blue Ridge Mountains, and no James River. Finally, I plead with you as a gay man and a lifelong Virginian, realize the message you send with a vote of support for this bill. You're telling LGBTQ Virginians and citizens around the country that they are not welcome here. Their money is no good, their taxes are no good, and their equal treatment is not a priority. All because of who they love. All right, thanks guys.